Hey, you're watching 100 in 100, where we review 100 VR games in 100 days. Today, we're going to be reviewing Final Soccer VR. In our VR gear game reviews, we make sure that we cover all of the different aspects of the game so that you can make an informed decision before you go out and try or buy a new VR game. All of the games that we review are compared against a common grading system that we use to help you decide what games are worth trying out. Okay, so let's jump into Final Soccer VR. So what is this game? Well, it is a soccer game in VR, and we were actually pretty surprised at how this game was set up. So let's start by talking about getting up and running with Final Soccer. You can find Final Soccer in the Steam Store, or you can find it in Viveport Infinity if you have that subscription. We got ours from Viveport Infinity. We hit the download button, waited for it to finish, and then we installed the game. And just like any other VR title, it's ready to go as soon as the download finishes. Final Soccer will run you $19.99. Final Soccer seems to make a lot of promises, but expect a lot out of the users if you really want to take advantage of everything the game has to offer. Right away in the introductory scenes of the menu, you are told that if you'd like to be able to kick the ball in Final Soccer, you'll need an extra Vive controller that you tape to your foot. And it even goes as far as to recommend taping a second one to your other foot. And then if you have an extra Lighthouse Tracker, it recommends taping that to your waist. Now, we didn't have any extra trackers or extra controllers lying around, so we didn't get to play that part of the game where you kick the ball. That means that we were able to play goalie and goalie only. Okay, so the player perspective of this game is first person, able to see the hands in front of you, and you can look down and see your goalie legs, and that's just about it. Everything else is out in front of you. You are immersed as a goalie in the game. So this game is a first person sports game Okay, so the music and sound for Final Soccer was nothing really that impressive. There wasn't any music that played in the background, and the announcer that was in the stadium was saying the same four or five phrases every single time that you get into the game. That got kind of repetitive and sort of annoying. However, the ambiance and the sound of the stadium and the sound of the ball hitting your gloves or the post uh, on the goal, that sounded realistic, and we really did appreciate the immersion that that provided but everything else about the sound seemed a little hollow. And as a result, we started playing some of our own music in the background so that we could enjoy it a little bit more and spend our full hour in final soccer. Okay, so player movement in this game, the worst part about it. Uh, one, you can just assume was difficult because if you tape a Vive controller to your foot, like it suggests, and you want to play soccer like you normally would, that would mean you get a running start on a penalty kick. However, the game does not encourage you to do that. In fact, it suggests against it. When you're playing goalie, you are standing in the middle of the goal when you start. But if you know anything about soccer, the goal is a lot wider than your typical safe area for playing VR. To compensate for this, what they've done is they respond to your leaning by exaggerating how much you're moving. And this was incredibly disorienting. It makes you very motion sick. To test what that was like uh, relative to real movement, we took our headset off and we put it next to the computer display that was mirroring the headset. And we, we tested how far the visuals in the VR headset would move relative to how far we would move the headset in the real world. And it was exaggerated by a factor of probably five. Uh, as a result, moving around in the game became, became very disorienting and you had the potential of becoming sick a lot faster than some of the other titles that we've played. So movement in this game was very uh, poorly executed. All right, so let's talk a little bit about kinetosis or motion sickness. Now, this game is done while standing stationary and the world comes at you. You're playing the, the role of a goalie in a penalty kickoff. However, the execution around keeping your feet firmly planted on the ground so it doesn't help that the game needed to compensate for your inability to move eight yards in either direction. As a result, you're feeling a lot more motion sickness when playing this game than you would if you were just playing ordinary soccer or any other game that allows you to stay stationary and have the game come to you. This game was actually pretty uh, fun to be inside of. The stadiums were very picturesque. 
the players looked pretty realistic uh, considering and being in the position of a goalie was actually quite enjoyable to see the balls come at you and be able to respond to them by punching them or by grabbing them or by slapping them away from the goal. Another element that they've added to the game was weather conditions and you can play soccer in weather conditions like rain or snow or dry or you know wet grass or whatever it may be there's a lot of variations in the weather and that was actually pretty fun to have that simulated while you were doing your penalty kicks in final soccer okay so let's talk about the overall perspective and the final score that we're giving final soccer the first one is theme and story this game says it has a story mode but it really is just arcade mode with a bunch of different levels and the levels ironically didn't really match what you would find in reality for example South Sudan is a place where you can play and it was raining and also snowing. And I think we know that South Sudan does not have snow at any time of year. And so the story mode, unless it was some sort of fairy tale, didn't quite match. And so we're giving Final Soccer a two out of 10 for story and theme. The controls for Final Soccer, we're giving it a seven out of 10. You had really great hand tracking if you have the right equipment and the ball responded very well to your hands moving toward it. So. Controls, seven out of 10. Music and sound, we're giving a four out of 10, and that is largely because the stadium, stadium ambiance, as well as the sound effects of the ball hitting the gloves of the goalie or the goal posts was really convincing and added to the immersion. Player movement gets a three out of 10, and this is because we found that moving inside of VR as a goalie, when it, your movement is exaggerated by the system is really disorienting, it's kind of jarring and it can cause motion sickness. And so the player movement, we gave that a three out of 10. Okay, so uh, kinetosis or motion sickness, we give Final Soccer a three out of 10 score here as well. And that is because of the disorienting and the jarring nature of the motion effects that they have implemented to help you move back and forth within the goal box as the goalie. So a three out of 10 for motion sickness. Environment and immersion, eight out of 10. This, uh, we think they pretty much nailed it. Not perfect score, but they did a really good job with creating a good environment that felt like you were in an arena playing soccer, doing a penalty shootout, and the arcade modes were actually quite fun and they were very convincing and uh, the immersion was pretty great. So we got an eight out of 10 for environment and immersion. For the final VR gear game review, Final score that we're giving Final Soccer is a 4.5 out of 10. Now this score is not one that you'll find in the review sections of the games when you download them from the store. People are giving this game really high marks, but you gotta keep in mind that the, the diehard gamers are really eager to see VR take off. We are too, but we want it to be done in a way that is better for everybody. And if the game is low in some of these marks, we're gonna tell you all about it. So a 4.5 out of 10, is a generous score that we're giving Final Soccer. We hope the game can improve and that they can uh, implement ways to track feet without strapping controllers to feet. This has been your 100 and 100, 100 VR games reviewed in 100 days. Go ahead and hit subscribe below and click that bell icon so that you can get notified when we release another VR game review tomorrow. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.